Welcome to the world of Monster Hunter Wilds. Together, we will journey to the Forbidden Lands, uncharted territory that the Guild has begun investigating. The Forbidden Lands were believed to be uninhabited until just a few years ago, when a boy named Nata was found there and taken into Guild protection. Nata was all alone after escaping an attack on his village by a mysterious monster, and the Guild has assembled an expedition to investigate. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. Our objectives will be to investigate the monster, known as the White Wraith, and to rescue Nata's people, known as the Keepers. Oh, who am I, you ask? My name is Alma, and I'll be your guide on this journey. Are you ready to step into a world of adventure? Let's go! Each expedition unit consists of a hunter, handler, smithy, and palico. And it'll be all hands and paws on deck with each unit carrying out their own vital roles for the guild. Hunter! As our unit's hunter, you're sanctioned to bear weapons and hunt monsters. And as your handler, it's my responsibility to manage your quests Authorize hunts, and ensure that you have all the information you need. Gemma, our smithy, will take monster materials you provide and forge equipment for you. Perfection! And your palico is your trusty companion, there to lend support whenever needed. We'll take it from here! I mentioned there's more than one unit. We belong to Avis Unit. And we'll have the honor of teaming up with the other units, like Astrum Unit, to see our mission through. The Guild gave special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition, mine included. Our initial foothold into the Forbidden Lands will be the Windward Plains. Due to its ever-changing weather, the plains will put both the wealth and the wrath of nature on full display. During the fallow, ravenous carnivores battle for every scrap of food, and a phenomenon known as the sand tide conjures thunder and lightning. After the storm comes the plenty, a time of abundant life and fertility. With every shift in the environment, the creatures of the plains change their behavior to adapt and survive. To succeed in our expedition, we'll have to be every bit as observant, versatile, and resourceful. A rich, diverse ecosystem has arisen from the Windward Plains' unique climate. The Doshagama, for example, form packs centered around an alpha. Taking on multiple large monsters at once is a recipe for disaster. In order to face the Alpha in a more ideal situation, it's wise to disperse the pack first. In sandy areas, you'll encounter Balahara. Their flexible bodies allow them to maneuver freely in and out of the sand. They're capable of creating quicksand traps. Unfortunate not just for hunters, but for any large monsters that get dragged into them. You may also encounter Chattacabra, toad-like monsters that favor the more rocky areas of the plains. These monsters apply sticky saliva to their forelegs and then fortify them with minerals. The Chattacabra's sizable tongue, while crucial to its survival, is also its biggest weakness. Don't miss your chance to attack when the tongue is exposed. Nature has one rule. You're either the hunter or the hunted. That goes for monsters, too, as they battle for supremacy. In the Windward Plains, one creature sits squarely at the top of the food chain, Ray Dao. Often spotted during the onset of the Sand Tide, Ray Dao has adapted to the relentless lightning storms, 
and is able to use this adaptation to discharge devastating attacks to any that threaten its territory. If you are called upon to face it, Hunter, I ask that you take extreme precaution. While out on hunts, you might spot some small creatures at your feet, or perched in the trees. All of the endemic life you see has evolved to survive in this harsh environment. I cannot help but to be amazed by these creatures. The sheer will to survive, even in such an unforgiving environment. Let's talk about the expedition's base camp. This is the heart of operations, where you can do practically everything, whether it's crafting weapons and armor or resupplying provisions. One tool that's sure to come in handy out in the vast expanse of the plains is the pop-up camp. While limited in number, these provide a sort of home away from home while out in the field. Pop-up camps serve as fast travel waypoints. A place to change your equipment. And an item restocking point. See how useful they are? Of course, if a monster finds one of them, it might not last very long. We'll need to think carefully where exactly we set them up. In our travels, there's a chance we'll cross paths with the people of the Windward Plains. Our interactions with this new culture could be what sustains us on our quest. An incredible adventure awaits, with new monsters, new friendships, and awe-inspiring vistas. Almost forgot. Have you decided on a weapon yet? Every hunter's journey begins with weapon selection. Would you rather get in close and unleash with all your might? Keep your distance and dish out a relentless assault? Deliver stinging blows as you stand your ground? Or strike with a flurry of slicing attacks? Fourteen weapon types are available, and at least one of them is the perfect fit for you. If you're not sure what to pick, ask me. I can provide advice on which is the most suitable. If mobility is your first priority, then this weapon might be a good match. Hunters can't just rely on weapons. You'll need to make use of items like shock traps and barrel bombs, not to mention any endemic life and geographical features that you come across. It's up to you to read the situation and use all you've got to take down your target. One thing's for sure, hunting is hungry work. With your portable barbecue grill, you'll be able to prepare meals on the go. And yes, that includes meat. So tasty! Your Palico is a feline companion that provides various types of support out in the field. Whether it's laying traps to hinder monsters, or healing you when you've taken a beating. Heels inbound! The two of you make a pretty good team. You can always trust me to have your back. Oh, that reminds me. Be sure to keep an eye on your health gauge. will start shaking to warn against any potentially life-threatening attacks. There's no better way to traverse the Windward Plains than astride your sacred. Whether it's a target you're trying to reach, or just a point on the map, your sacred will follow the scent and take you there. Not only can you gather and use items on the go, you can even perform mounted attacks. And if you find yourself in a tight situation, you can call your sacred, and it will swiftly take you out of harm's way. 
Whether you're hunting or just exploring, that extra mobility will prove rather useful. If you're struggling to face a monster alone, you'll be able to call for reinforcements. Fire an SOS flare, and up to three hunters will race to your side to assist with the hunt. In multiplayer, you'll be connected online with a team of hunters from around the world. If you are unable to fill the hunting party, or if you'd prefer to play offline, then NPC support hunters will come to your aid instead. Hunt monsters and harvest materials from them. Use those materials to upgrade your weapons and armor. And get out there and join the quest with your hunter friends. Your brand new life as a hunter is about to begin in Monster Hunter Wild.